The Republican National Committee has now fired literally dozens of people less than a week after Trump's daughter-in-law, Lara Trump and Mike Watley were elected as co-chairs of the organization. Now, of course, this comes after the former chair, Ronna McDaniel, decided to step down as the leader of the RNC. Now, specifically, 60 employees have been laid off. That includes people who worked in data, political staffers and communications department employees. Now, in a letter to some political and data staff, Sean Cairncross, the RNC's new chief operating officer, said that the new committee leadership was in the process of evaluating the organization and staff to ensure the building is aligned with its vision. During this process, certain staff are being asked to resign and reapply for a position on the team. Now, the overhaul is aimed at cutting. What an anonymous source close to Trump and the RNC described as bureaucracy at the RNC. And one former employee told the Washington Post, quote, gutting a committee just before the election seems insane. I'm not quite sure how insane it is, especially when you kind of dive into the money spent over at the RNC and there's been a lot of waste and that's, According to conservative sources, including Red State, which I just have to continue giving them credit for diving into those numbers and doing a great report showing what the RNC had been spending money on under the leadership of Ronna McDaniel. So look, there could be bureaucracy there that could be cut. So I'm curious to see it. but. I think the way that this is kind of being spun by broadly speaking, like left wing media should be taken with a grain of salt. Because look, on one hand, there are some concerns that the Republican Party and every apparatus within the Republican Party has just become a tool for Donald Trump. I hear you guys on that. But there was definitely waste and seems like a duplicative positions within the RNC that was really unnecessary. So I don't really have a problem with them letting 60 people go. Yeah, I'm gonna go further. A lot of mainstream media don't give you honest news. We do, you know why? Because of you. Paid membership on YouTube makes all the difference. Hit the join button below and you become the hero that sustains us. If I took over the DNC, I'd do the same thing, if not more. Yes. So, and by the way, that is why the DNC is not trying to pick the best Democratic candidate to go against Trump. They're trying to just maintain Joe Biden, whether he's the best candidate or the worst candidate, they don't really care. Because if you have someone new coming in, they can do what the Trump team just did, fire almost half the building, right? So the people that work inside the building at the DNC are like, not a new candidate, not a new candidate. Who cares if we lose? We keep our jobs, Mm -hmm. right? But if you have a new candidate, they can come in and clean house like this. So hell no, we're gonna stick with the old guy, whether he sucks or he doesn't, right? So I got no love for any of those folks. I think that once you take over the party, you have every right to clean house and put in your own guys. That's not the issue here. The issue is that Trump is corrupt, so they're gonna funnel all the money to him and none of the other Republicans. Yeah. But that's not my problem either, that's a Republican problem. So we're gonna get to that, okay? Because I do think that's an important discussion, but. Real quick, let's go back to the waste over at the RNC prior to new people coming in and cleaning house. So according to a January campaign finance filing, the RNC had a historical or historically low $8.7 million cash on hand compared with $24 million at the Democratic National Committee. I'm not really celebrating the fact that the Democratic Party has become as corrupt, if not more corrupt than the Republican Party. Like, ooh, look at how much money they've raised. What do you think that means? That means that there are you know, wealthy donors who are giving that money for what reason? Out of the kindness of their own hearts or because they're expecting favors in return? So again, I'm not really celebrating the numbers over at the DNC, but when you look at the RNC, their numbers are low mostly because of what they were spending money on. And that takes us to the red state investigative report that showed you what the RNC was spending money on. I love talking about this, let's bring the graph back up. So according to this chart, the RNC 
weirdly spent nearly $298,000 on office supplies, while the DNC spent only $45,000. The DNC spent $0 on media booking consultants, but the RNC spent more than $116,000 on them. In one year, Republicans spent more than $263,000 on like limousine service. Republican, I mean, Democrats only spent $7,000 and um, I think the most shocking of all is that the RNC spent $70,000 on floral arrangements, which I mean, I would love to have the means to do that, but it seems like a waste of money. <laughs> yeah, so I can guarantee you this, somebody well connected at the RNC owns a limousine service. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why they you spend that kind of monstrous money in a short period of time on limos. And it's possible that one of them owns a floral store. Yeah. So Totally. Or, is, yeah. or is a florist. Is a florist. I was looking for that word. I was struggling with it. So, with that said, let's go to the final concern, which I think is a legitimate concern of the new RNC under new leadership funneling money specifically to Donald Trump. Remember, Trump has even said out loud that he thinks maybe the RNC should help pay his legal bills, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, um, The RNC is making the case that look, these staffers that we got rid of and the money that we're saving, it's all with good reason, okay? The cuts are designed to eliminate duplication as the Trump campaign and the RNC work to become essentially one organization, said Chris Lasavita, a Trump campaign senior advisor who took over as the RNC chief of staff after Friday's vote. This is Republican streamlining, he said on Monday night. Now in a speech on Friday, Watley, who's now a co-chair for the RNC, said that the RNC will work hand in glove with President Trump's campaign. Yeah, so look, here's what they're streamlining, all the money into Trump's pocket. And Lara Trump, who's now the co-chair, said it before. She brazenly said, we're gonna give all the money to my father-in-law. Uh, so it wasn't unclear, but the DNC does the same thing. I mean, maybe they don't funnel money into the Trump Towers and all that nonsense. So it doesn't go into uh, Biden's pocket. But in terms of working hand in glove with President Biden, does the DNC do that? Absolutely. Does the DNC serve uh, establishment leaders in their own party, like not just Joe Biden, but Hillary Clinton back in the day, whether she was the incumbent or she wasn't the incumbent, absolutely. So for all the stories you're hearing about the, can you believe what they're doing at the RNC? Well, with one notable exception, they do the same exact thing at the DNC. The notable exception is we were very pleasantly surprised to see that they don't have a lot of waste at the DNC. So credit to the DNC for not wasting too much money.